Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm a, I'm a graphic designer and illustrator and a comic creator and a big dinosaur fan. Uh, that's quite common for steampunk. Um, and today I want, to, uh, I want to show you how I made one of my ink drawings. So that's just my process, um, how I came up with the ideas for the dinosaur itself. Um, the steampunk character and how she's dressed up and how I came up with the, with the accessories and how it sort of all works together um, as one piece. Um, I hope you enjoy, I hope that gives you a few ideas on uh, what to do and uh, hopefully makes you want to look into uh, sort of slightly more scientifically accurate um, dinosaurs and also uh, some sort of um, more uh, exotic um, steampunk. Um, Let's watch! So one of the reasons why I've decided to go with a, uh, a steampunk Korean uh, character and dinosaur, well, first the dinosaur is called Korea Ceratops and I could not do, um, I could not not do anything as on the nose as that, so here you go. Um, <laughs> the other reason why is because I think the uh, traditional Korean dress, the, uh, the handbook, um, is brilliant to uh, to get steampunked. Um, it's in my opinion one of the best um, Asian uh, dresses to uh, to turn into a, a steampunk outfit. We rode through the valley of the dinosaurs. So here the um, the garments I'm drawing, uh, the crop jacket um, is called a jaggery. Um, this one is not quite historical. Uh, I gave it short sleeves and it's wide open, which obviously no decent woman uh, would be doing in, in 19th century Korea. Um, but I think it works quite well. It's a bit like, you know, in steampunk that we are showing off our corsets and our ankles and whatnot, even legs sometimes. Um, it, it kind of goes with a sort of um, less strict society of steampunk, so here we go. As we rode through the valley of the dinosaurs, yes, we rode through the valley of the dinosaurs. How we rode through the valley of the dinosaurs, indeed, we rode through the valley. So here her skirt is all bunched up, obviously she's holding it, um, but that skirt, called the Chima, um, was quite big, uh, almost bustle shape um, in the 19th century, um, especially for rich women, obviously, um, commoners would have sort of straight, more straighter skirts, because they couldn't have all the petticoats and the, and the underwear uh, to make it that shape, but they would sometimes uh, bustle up or, or bunch the outer layers like that, um, obviously here she's not wearing any underlayers, just trousers, which again a bit like bloomers, women, women would have trousers underneath, um, and you can sometimes see on paintings a little show of ankle. Rocks and bones, rocks and bones. there are stories in the rocks and the bones. Read it in the papers or in the magazine. You can listen to the radio and you may hear a story. But me, I love to dig amongst the dirt and stones, looking for the stories in the rocks and the bones. Rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones. There are stories to be found. Now let's talk about the dinosaur. So the, the Korean dinosaur, Korea Ceratops. Um, as you can tell from the name, uh, it's a cousin of Triceratops. It's got the frill, um, it's got the beak, it doesn't have the horns. Um, it's obviously much smaller and it's got that paddle-shaped tail. 
Um, that's a fairly recent update in its anatomy, and uh, now we know that it was a semi-aquatic dinosaur, uh, which is why here they are in shallow water, probably foraging for food and little, I don't know, little plants and whatnot. You can read it in a book, you can watch it on TV. You can search the internet and find yourself a story But me, I love to dig amongst the dirt and stones Looking for the stories in the rocks and the bones Rocks and bones Rocks and bones Rocks and bones, rocks and bones. There are stories to be found Deep within the ground Rocks and bones Rocks and bones Rocks and bones, rocks and bones. There are stories in the rocks and the bones I'm quite tempted to add a, uh, a little poem or title on the side You know sometimes you see on the oriental paintings there's like your there's some writing, calligraphic writing in the corner. Um, and I, would, I don't know what I would put. I've actually been trying to learn Korean. So I know how to write woman, woman and something. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I would write um, Korea Ceratops. Um, and I actually am quite tempted to rename it because back in the day, back in the 19th century, um, Korea was called Choson. Um, so I think we should actually call that dinosaur a, uh, a Chosun Ceratops. I think that <laughs> that's much better for 19th century Korea. Rocks and bones, rocks and bones, there are stories to be found. Deep within the ground, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones, rocks and bones. there are stories in the rocks and the bones. That's it for today. That was the making of Joseon Ceratops, the Korean steampunk dinosaur. Thanks for watching.